Hey! Do you really think you can get away from me? You're gonna pay for slinging mud in my face! How do you, a mere housewife, plan to bring up a high school kid like Sandy? Give me a break! The divorce has already gone through for your information. I have nothing further to talk to you about. And I already found a good paying job. So I plan to put Sandy through college no matter what. And I don't need your help. You sure don't know anything about real life, do you? <laughs> do you even realize the huge pay difference between you and me? Uh, why did you even contact me? What exactly do you want to say? Spit it out, I don't have all day. To be honest, we just want you gone from our lives. So if you got something to say, say it for God's sake. Your income is gonna drop drastically. You do realize that. I hope. I mean, you forget that you are married to a guy who works at a major corporation. Yeah, a guy who works at a major corporation that had a mistress and played around constantly. What's more, you made us live on a pittance. I even had to work part-time to make ends meet. Yeah, right, a real provider. You never allowed us to enjoy ourselves. To be honest, it was pure misery living with you. When we came home, all you did was treat us like slaves. If the dinner I cooked was not to your liking, you would just dump it in the trash bin. Or you would toss Sandy's homework in the trash out of spite. At the office, you act as though you're a loving father, taking care of your family, putting on this whole fake persona. If people knew the real you, someone who treats his family like garbage, they would be rendered speechless. But you are garbage. <laughs> what can I say? A garbage woman and her garbage daughter. That's what you guys are. How else am I supposed to treat you? Yeah, like garbage. Why did you even have to give birth to a girl, for God's sake? At least you could have given me a boy. What's the use in having a girl? What use will she be when she grows up? <laughs> All these years, I took care of you guys. Gave you a roof over your heads, paid for your meals, clothes, everything. This is what I get in return? Funny. I didn't even have to throw out the trash. The trash left on its own accord. <laughs> if I knew it would turn out this way, I never should have picked you up off the street. All you had to do was obey my every command and simply do what I told you, but no. You always had some reason to fight back. How could I not fight back? You cheat on me. You provide us with zero financial support. Who wouldn't react to that? You really have nerve treating women like we were your slaves. You're despicable. Yeah, well, just keep this in mind. A woman is only useful until she's in her mid-twenties. That's it. After that, she's just an old hag. You're way over the limit. There is no use for you in this world anymore. Get that through your pea brain head of yours. That's why I treat younger women with respect. You, on the other hand, deserve no respect whatsoever. Your expiration date reached its limit a long time ago. You belong in the trash bin. Is that all you've got to say? Well, have fun with your mistress then. Good riddance. You bet I will. Unlike you, she's super smart. She never gets angry or complains about a thing. I will be very happy living with her. I should have done this years ago. Why I kept you after the expiration date, I don't know. But this does not mean I forgive you for leaving me. Don't you forget that. I'm not finished with you yet. If you want me to pay child support for Sandy, you better get down on your hands and knees and beg like the trip you are. And you do that in front of my house. And then I may provide you with a little financial support. And <laughs> I'm sure you need it. No need for that, we're good to go. We don't want a cent from you. I don't want to ever rely on you or your money. So please, get lost. We don't ever want anything to do with you again. Just leave us be. Goodbye and good riddance.
Hey, Sandy, just finished work. I'm getting on the subway. Hey, Mom, just in time. I just walked through the door. I'll get dinner ready right away. Bought some of your favorite pork dumplings on the way. Oh my god, I love those things. Thanks. I'm really sorry. I know you probably just finished school. Making me dinner? You should be studying. Come on, Mom, don't start again. I'm doing it because I love it, that's all. Don't worry about it. Anyways, you're always working for me. Ever since we left home, I have to pay you back for all you've done for me. So please, let me do at least a little cooking and cleaning, and like I said, I actually kind of enjoy cooking. Yeah, right, but you're already in college. I mean, you must... What? What do you mean? You know, you must have a boyfriend. Huh? Is that what you're worried about? Don't worry. Nobody like that so far. I know a lot of guys at school, but no one's special. Besides, if I do find a guy, I will only choose a guy that will accept you. That's how important you are to me, Mom. I'm always here for you, Mom. That will never change, so you better get used to it. Sandy, you're going to make me cry. How did I end up with such a beautiful daughter? You know what? I'm going to stop off at that pastry shop downtown and pick up some of those chocolate donuts. Really? Yes! Okay, Mom. Be careful coming home. And could you get me some of those brownies? I love those. Sure thing, Sandy. Anything for my daughter. No, wait. Forget what I just said. Huh? What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? What am I going to do? Why? This is not happening. Mom, no, you can't. You can't come home. Just stay away. Don't come home, you hear me? He's... He's in front of the house. Huh? What do you mean he's in front... Who's he? No way. You don't mean... Him? Yeah, it's him. My dad. My ex-dad. He's banging on the door. What am I going to do? The door's gonna break, Mom. He's gonna kick it down. What should I do? He's at the front door? You're sure it's him? Are you okay, Sandy? No way he's getting in the house, right? Don't you dare let him in. You got that? I got both locks secured, and the curtains are closed. He probably doesn't know I'm here. Maybe he'll give up and go away. I doubt he'll break in. He hasn't seen me. I'll give up, but... Mom, stay away from the house for now. When he's gone, I'll text you again. Hang tight. Just stay at a cafe or something for now. I'll be in touch. I can't do that. I can't have you stay there all alone with that lunatic outside. I just can't do it. When Bob gets angry, he goes nuts. He's deranged. He goes totally mental when he doesn't have his way. He'll get way more blitz, though, if you see him face to face. Better you stay away. I can handle this. You know I'm right, Mom. I mean, he would never hurt his own daughter. But you? He hates you. He'll go Looney Tunes if he sees you. He's banging on the door and screaming your name. Stay away, Mom, you hear me? That guy's wacky for sure. You got it, Mom? Sandy, just call the cops right away. Better to be on the safe side. Call the cops. If it's nothing, that's that. Please, just call them. Calling the police won't do shit. Remember when we called the police before you got divorced? Remember what they said after they arrived? They said it was just a family quarrel and told us to work it out. And just left us with this deranged psycho. You do remember that, right? No way I'm calling those useless jerks. I'll never forgive that cop for how he treated us. Yeah, well, that cop was old, probably retired by now. The younger cops are way more understanding, especially with young and pretty girls like yourself. I know, I was pissed off at that cop too, but I think things have changed since then. Won't hurt to call them just in case. I would rather you call them than regret it later on, so please. All right, Mom, I'll call them. Hold it a second, Mom. Looks like he's talking to someone outside. Who? What's up? Answer me! Who's he talking to? I think it's the neighbor. I've seen him around. I think it's that guy down the street. 
Mr. Bannon, was it? It looks like he's warning him. He looks a bit angry. Huh? Really? I hope Mr. Bannon is okay. You really should just call the cops. Bob is off his rocker, right? Never know what he'll do. Better safe than sorry. Call the police right away. No, wait. It looks fine. Dad looks like he's apologizing to Mr. Bannon. Actually, looks kind of worried. Huh? Really? I know Dad always dupes people at the office and around his neighborhood with his good guy image, but... But around us? Around our neighbors? He's always pretty rude to them. He's sure not the type to curry favor with our friends. Yeah, you're right. If he didn't care, he'd just ignore the guy and keep banging away and screaming. I wonder if he knows Mr. Bannon. Holy crap! He just got down on his hands and knees! Looks like he's begging him for forgiveness? What the hell is going on? Who is this Mr. Bannon? What is he? A cop or something? I want to get out there and check it out. Don't you dare! I know Bob. He'll hit the roof once he sees you. Just hang on for a bit longer. I'm almost home. I'll talk to them. I'll find out what's going on. So don't you dare go out there. Hey! Uh... Never thought you were acquainted with the former CEO of our company. Small world, huh? I mean, who would've thought? What the hell is wrong with you? You come charging over to my house, bang on the door, scared Sandy half to death. What the hell do you want? I was just thinking. We're forever connected somehow, don't you think? You know Mr. Bannon? Can't just chalk it up to mere coincidence. Well, if you would have just forgotten about us and just left us be, we never would have had any further connection. Besides, there is no connection now or ever in the future. Come on, relax, Carol. I just wanted to show you a little respect. Bigger, we can talk it over and make things right again. You know, start from scratch again. What do you say? Did you fall off your chair and hit your head recently? Do you really expect us to live with you again after how you treated us? Do you really want garbage like us back in your life? You are totally mental. If I was a cat and had nine lives, I would reject you nine times. Come on, don't be that way. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's start on a blank page. Like when we first met. I was young and hot-headed. I'm not the old Bob anymore. My thinking has changed. You should call me Robert from now on. That old Bob is gone for good. What do you say? I really regret how I treated you. I understand that now. How many years do you think I spent watching you put on that fake persona? You can't fool me anymore. I've had it with your deception. The only reason you're being this way is probably because you found out that Mr. Bannon was the former CEO of your company. And that he's my neighbor. That's it, isn't it? I can read you like a book, Bob. For your information, we have no intention of starting over with you again. Not now, not ever. Sandy and I would be forever grateful for you if you would just leave us be and get the hell out of our lives. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, I got it. I won't bother you any longer. But could you just do me one favor? Could you tell Mr. Bannon that you forgave? That there are no hard feelings? You do that, and I will be gone from your lives. You know him pretty well. He seems to be fond of you. I'm sure he'll listen to you. I tried to contact him, but he's blocked me. He won't see me. You're my only chance. Come on! For old time's sake? He comes to my home, bang on my door, scare my daughter, disrupt this peaceful neighborhood. You brought this onto yourself. Mr. Bannon came rushing over here because he heard you yelling and screaming. Anyway, you and I are complete strangers. We're not married anymore. That ended years ago. You should be grateful I didn't call the police. They could have had you arrested. Did you even realize that? 
Yeah, I know that. But the fact remains that... Well, if you don't help me out, I may get fired from my job. I made my way up the company. I recently made section manager. You understand, right? I can't lose this job. You gotta help me out! Why are you even asking me? I have nothing to do with all this. Don't come groveling for help. It's actually a little offensive. You brought this all on yourself. What's more, when we got divorced years ago, you told the company that it was me who cheated on you. How could you? All those years, you treated us with such disdain. Well, I couldn't help that. I had to maintain a proper image at work. <gasps> Wait a sec. I know why you came back to us. I bet your woman, the one you had the affair with, I bet she dropped you, am I right? I thought she was smarter than me. Well, it seems she wasn't. If she was as smart as you say, she would have dropped you before getting married. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. That mouth of yours is still working overtime, I see. I just came back to help you guys out. I felt pity for you. Oh yeah? Well, that's so nice of you. But we don't want or need your help. I mean, how could we accept anything from a loser like you? So, no way I'm going to explain anything to Mr. Bannon. Get yourself out of your own pile of garbage. Oh yeah? Just so you know, I told Mr. Bannon the real reason we got divorced. No matter how you try to concoct some far-fetched story, it's too late. He knows the truth. Come on, Carol. Have a little pity, would ya? We've been together for more than 15 years. There must have been something there. You must have cared back then. Come on, help me out here. Tell Mr. Bannon it was all a misunderstanding. I will never forget what you did to us. Treating us with such animosity. And you want pity? Well, I'm not giving it. I didn't realize Mr. Bannon was the former CEO of your company, but... I knew that after he retired, he worked as a volunteer to help out single mothers. And this house we're living in? He owns it, and he lets us live here for a fraction of the real cost. Mr. Bannon is a kind and considerate person. He's done so much for me and Sandy. I cannot lie to him, and I won't. Give me a break! My whole career is on the line here! I get fired and I'm done! How am I supposed to find a job now, at this age? Why should I worry about some stranger's life or career? Besides, our lives are in jeopardy too. Our lives, Sandy and mine. This is way more important than some no-good cheating ex-husband, and nobody to us. If I give in now, we would only go back to being your slave, and treated like trash. Slave, huh? I wouldn't go that far. I never treated you guys like slaves. Besides, a woman should obey his husband. It's always been like that. Are you still going on about a wife obeying the husband? Are you still living in the 1950s? Do you ever say that in front of people at work or to Mr. Bannon's face? I bet you don't. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> All you care about is how people perceive you at work. How the girl sees you. You're always putting on this fake persona. You're despicable. What good would it do to tell them about what a crappy wife and useless daughter I have? What good would it do me? The only reason you exist is because of guys like me. Guys who can provide for you and protect you. You need guys like me. Wake up and smell the coffee, would you? Just do whatever I say! You'll thank me in the end. Wow, I thought you lived in the 50s. Dark Ages is more like it. Where have you been for the past few decades? We're strangers now. I don't want you ever contacting us again, you got that? For the last time, goodbye. Hold on a second! I'm begging for your help! 
You can't even have an ounce of pity for me. Come on, think of the 15 years we were together. We had some good days, right? You're not that stupid, are you? So, you're okay with me being gone? You sure are gonna regret this. Mark my words! You'll never be able to do anything without me! Huh? You still think you're above it all. You're hopeless. Sandy and I don't need you. You've treated us like garbage for years. But I've realized that the worst piece of garbage in the world is you. That's why we dumped you. Can you ever understand that for God's sake? That's right, Bob. You're the piece of trash. You belong in the trash bin of humanity. Well, after that line encounter, I heard he was transferred to some office way out in the country somewhere. Mr. Bannon, being the former CEO, could have insisted that he be fired, but he was afraid that if he did fire him, he could take revenge on me and Sandy. He wanted to avoid that at all costs. So he opted to get him transferred to some far-off subsidiary. As for Bob, he got bumped down to a regular staff member. We all know Bob's got a huge ego, so... I'm not sure how he would take it. Not sure if his pride could take such shame. But then again, that status of working for a major corporation, he definitely didn't want to part with that. I bet he put on that fake smile of his, grit his teeth and took it. <laughs> I heard that Mr. Bannon was also brought up by a single mom, and so after retirement he volunteered to help single mothers in need. I was fortunate enough to live in his neighborhood, and he and his group helped us out, providing us with discounted housing and medical help when needed. I would never have gotten by without Mr. Bannon's help. If Mr. Bannon hadn't shown up when he did, you never know what that creep would have done to us. We owe him dearly for coming to our rescue. Of course, we wanted to call the police and press charges, but it seems that they only act after some drastic incident happens and not before. Besides, even if the police took him away, he would not be gone for long. He'd probably be out in a few hours. Then what? He'd definitely come right back to taunt us. So, we figured this would be the best punishment for him. As for the woman he was having an affair with, well, apparently she dumped him and found a way nicer guy than Bob. I heard she recently got married. Well, looks like she threw out the trash too. I guess he came back to us because he had nowhere else to go. Nobody would put up with his bullshit. I was furious he would even think we'd take him back. But I feel this is truly the end of this relationship. As long as the company doesn't fire him and keeps him away from us, he'll face up to what he did as long as he can keep his job. Any contact with us and he loses his job. That'll keep him in line. So now Sandy and I can finally relax and get on with our lives. He was a garbage husband, but one thing I will thank him for is that he gave me a beautiful daughter. She is the most precious thing in my life.